Managing and displaying BIM data in the field can sometimes be complex and confusing. Sometimes the model has poorly defined layers or no layers at all. Use the Trimble Connect Organizer to organize your BIM data into meaningful groups for field surveys. To create a group in Trimble Connect, load the model in the Trimble Connect 3D viewer, open the organizer panel, and start by clicking add a new group. A drop down will appear, click new manual group. A new group will be added with the name untitled. Click on the name to edit it. Click the add subgroup button to nest a group under the main group. Select some objects in 3D. Then click the link objects button to add the objects to the subgroup. In this example here, I've selected elements in the model that need to be set out on different days. You can also use the data table to group the model by properties and p-sets. For example, you could create groups by project phase, material, or even location, for example the floors or the different buildings, and any other attribute contained in the model. Choose a property you would like to turn into an organizer group. Drag it into the group by field. Now you can select different parts of that model based on the selected property. Tap Save to Organizer and choose to save it as a manual group. In our organizer panel, we can now see that group has been created. Let's create a few more organizer groups based on the model's properties. Once the organizer group has been created, it will be available for all Trimble Access users who have that model or models selectable in their Trimble Access map. Now let's look at how we can use those groups we just created in Trimble Access. First, open the project that houses the model and download it from Trimble Connect. Because it's selectable in the map, the BIM toolbar will be displayed. At the bottom of the BIM toolbar is the Organizer button. Tap the Organizer button and Trimble Access will download the latest Organizer groups. Now you can use those groups to select the objects in the model. Once I have selected the desired information in the map, I can then use the Show Only and Hide tools to isolate the objects I need to work on. If you select two subgroups within one group, it will do a combination of the groups. Here, I'm selecting both structural and wood columns to display in the map. Create intersections of multiple groups by selecting more than one group. For example, by selecting the groups Building 1 and Material Columns, I've selected all of the columns in building one. If I make a mistake, I can use the undo tool on the BIM toolbar and change building one to building two. On a large construction project, project managers can tailor filters for all stakeholders, including surveys, improving collaboration and reducing confusion by granting stakeholders easy access to the data they need.